welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. It was a stinking, ruddy, hot day today. I slept for most of the day today. Um, I just wanted to have a lazy day. I'm allowed to, so I did. What are you doing there? What are you smelling? There's been a few um, toads around lately, so I'm just watching because they're not good with animals. Well, I lost a total of one kilo this week and I haven't been a real good girl, to be honest with you, this week. I've had a few snacks here and there of McDonald's chips. I've had some soft serve cones. So I haven't been good at all, really. It's a bit of a wake up call seeing one kilo of weight loss when I've been averaging about four or five kilos a week. So, but that's not going to dishearten me at all. I went through my paperwork today and I found some information pertaining to my physiology exercises. So I'm going to bring you that um, in the form of a vlog soon. Um, just showing you what physiotherapists have asked me to do in conjunction with my back, my persistent pain and my back injury. I've recently found my paperwork on the Tai Chi that we've done in previous sessions of the pain clinic as well as this session. So I'm going to, it's another blog that I really want to do for you guys. Um, but yeah, today wasn't really an eventful day, but I have to say that it was a day with a lot of relaxation, which is great. Um, I'm going to try and take the attitude now of well if I didn't get something done so be it it's okay I've got plenty of other time to do it in I also want to take a less negative approach when it comes to my life choices I'm going to play more of a part with my diet understand a bit more about what I'm putting into my mouth and hopefully that will roll on or cascade to my my youngest one Poasa and my oldest one. I always go to say children, but then I realize that my 24 year old is not a child anymore. So I have to rethink. So yes, the young adult in the family might cascade to her as well. So didn't do any exercise today, except for a few Tai Chi moves. But as I've recently learned, at least if you get a half an hour exercise in your regime per day, it doesn't matter whether that's broken up, you can do one minute lots until you get to 30 minutes, you can do five minute lots or 10 minute lots of um, exercise as long as it adds up to 30 minutes per day, that's fine. That is what the, um, that's what the um, physiologists are saying, <laughs> it's not the word I meant to say, but that's what the people um, recommend, the health practitioners. So, what else was today? What else happened today? Really not much at all, apart from finding some paperwork, watching plenty of YouTube, um, getting onto the CSIRO website and looking up some of their information in respect to protein and how much protein they recommend that you get in your diet each day. However, my dietitian wants me to get at least between 70 to 85 a day, which isn't easy. But on my best days, I do try to, to achieve that. So, and I must say that I am, mostly I am meeting those needs. So that's great. It was a stinking hot day, if I haven't already mentioned. It was a ruddy, stinking hot day here on the GC. It was overcast. The humidity was goddamn high. It was ugly to sleep in that type of um, humidity but we're all set tonight to sleep downstairs with the aircon going a nice humble good night's sleep that is what I'm looking for looking forward to so just come outside to Bamba to toilet Bambi haven't we and she did she went to the toilet like a good girl she went to the toilet didn't you yes you did you did indeed well, we might as well go inside from here. Come on. 
um, when she does a, when she does come out to the toilet, which is another sort of way we like to teach her, we positively reinforce that by giving her a little tiny treat. We do allow her to have, you know, um, so many treats per day, and we just make sure that, pardon me, please, she gets that. But we might break them up into little pieces like that. No bigger than my thumb, actually. And as you can see, sit down, sit down, stay up, good girl. <laughs> So that was my day today and at the moment, yes, I know you're here Poissa, but I won't show you in this thing, right? The air conditioning is going. Yo ho, air con. So it's looking, oh, it's feeling nice, sorry. Yes, I am looking nice, aren't I? Um, it is feeling really nice in here, it is. Wouldn't you agree? Wouldn't you agree, baby, you and me got a special kind of love? <laughs> my son's embarrassed by my behaviour, but I cannot help it. I must be my true self all the time. Mom, you're not even just an embarrassment of the family. You're just an embarrassment of the human race. No way, kiddo. And guess what? You don't even have a, you don't have a mental problem. But you don't have a mental problem that makes you crazy. You're just an embarrassment of the human race. I am though, I mean, I've got mental health issues. Yeah, but not those kind of mental health issues. Oh my god, father. What a positive outlook on life you have, child. That's because of me, see? Well, do, 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 do. come for a dance. Come dance with me. Come dance with me. Come dance, come dance with me. Huh? No, because you're going to take my phone and you're going to delete the footage. Do you want me to take you in the camera? No, no, no. I won't. Don't no. panic. He's going to hit me with the pillow. I swear. Oh, he missed. <laughs> he missed. He missed. Oh, be do be do be do. He ha. Hoody ha. No, because you're going to hurt me. I swear. I'm you're going to take the footage. I swear to God. You're going to hurt me. Cross my heart. Don't take my camera. I swear. Don't take it. Okay. I'm going to. Oh, Jesus. I will take it out and before I put it online, I will show you. This time there's no exceptions. This time there's no exceptions. I'm not deleting it right away. Yes. I will delete it on iMovie, thank you. Don't, we're not going through this again. Sit, Mum, sit. She loves taking orders. Don't. If you want to be in it, leave me alone. I'm serious about these things. I want to YouTube properly. Mom, delete that entire section. I will, but I will want to go on iMovie. Now stop it. God, make my heart pound. I'm trying to become a, uh, a face to the Australian household and all my family want to do is just... Oh, yes, I am. And I'm going to be monetized soon. <clears throat> he doesn't even know what that means. And he says, I'm not going to blah, 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 blah. Sorry, I've been looking at myself. Okay, that is all, folks, for now. I'm going to add this to another vlog tomorrow and I'll make a movie out of it. But, of course, you won't see it until Mr. has. Don't you talk back to me. Don't you talk back to your nana. Don't you talk back to your nana. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Guys, it's bye for now and see you tomorrow. Boop, 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 boop. Have a look at the pick. Turn some of the lamb chops, as you can see. They say that you shouldn't really, you shouldn't turn your meat that often on a barbecue. Once or twice. So you want to get a nice, good old um, brownness on the meat, we do, before we sort of turn it over like that there. Yes, it's cooking. It's cooking. It doesn't take two minutes to cook, you know. It's getting there. It's getting there. Yes, it is. You can see some of them haven't really browned that much, so we might just leave the lid on for a little bit longer. For it to get nice and hot. I should check these lamb chops, actually. No, they're beautiful. Beautiful. Cooking beautifully, aren't they? Cooking beautifully, aren't they, Ben? Yes, they are. Cooking beautifully. I need the yard to be the boost. 
and if they are, they might just say well done, but we also like it moist. Cooked to stuff, but any meat that's cooked on the barbie, we like it moist. That would be Andy Girl. Yeah, we do be Andy Girl. We like it moist, don't we? We don't like it dry and chewy and acca, 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 acca. Do we? No, we don't. No, we don't. The spray did not consist of too much. Um, by the time I drop my son at school now and then pick him up, um, I actually had a bit of a nanny nap today. I did. That was from about 12.30 till about 2. Um, and then I had to wake up at 2 and I had to go back on the road again and pick up the boy from school. So didn't consist of too much today, unfortunately. I am actually just turning the meat again. So we don't want to start it getting burnt. We don't, we don't, we don't, but we do want it cooked. I don't mind an old barbecue, good old barbie. It um, tantalizes the, what's I call it, the senses as well because got that beautiful smell from the barbecue and just love it. Here's another look again. I've just turned the chops again but we don't want to cook them too much as I said. Chop the chicken around a bit. But on there we've got some corn to cook too and some onions. So that'll be cooking soon. Bambi's still waiting patiently on her chair. But yes, um, today did not consist of too much at all, unfortunately. It was a pretty laid back day. It's been a laid back week, really. Um, not much going on. No, stay in your chair, please. Stay in your chair. Yes, stay in your chair. Good girl. So yeah, because we have to get up at... No, stay there. You're on this. We have to get up around 6.30. Um, to get ready for school and then we leave here by 7 to 8 depending on whether I'm off to the pain clinic If I'm off to the pain clinic, then we leave here about 6 uh, sorry 730 To get into school by 830 to get me by, at the pain clinic by 930 But I go to that every two two days a week Tuesdays and Thursdays for one month so and it's been quite helpful. It always is helpful. It's just that it reminds you of things you should be doing um, that you're not doing and it does help you alleviate some of the pain it doesn't of course take all the pain away unfortunately but um, I guess I won't be um, pain free um, I won't ever be pain free ever again <laughs> so which is a bit daunting but it's not the end of the world which is great news so Okay, putting the camera down for a little bit while I get this barbecue a cooking and go inside and cook the potato salad. Hey, well, the barbecue is done, the dinner is over, and dessert has been had. Oh, there's an ant on my phone. So it was very nice, the barbecue and the salads and the gay times. But now it's all over with and it's time to get a shower and head to bed but before we do so my son has come up to me and just said I wonder where dad is I'm actually quite worried about him and I reassured him and I did say that if he's not back by tomorrow that I would call the police so hopefully he will make contact between now and then so yeah so I hope you guys have had a lovely week because my week has been quite busy. It has been an eventful week and to be honest with you, I've enjoyed the week, especially meeting up with new people at the pain clinic. It's been, it's been wonderful. So I've made a bit of a friend out of the pain clinic and we keep in contact. So hopefully I'll be able to maintain that. You guys have a wonderful Friday night. We're just going into Friday night. Obviously, the other side of the world is coming into Friday day. So you guys have a wonderful Friday. Hope you have a good, uneventful Friday night. Sleep tight. And for now, I say 
goodbye for now. on the home front and don't know where dad is so there you go he didn't come home last night so we don't know where he is his son has left him a message on his message bank service but there's been no answer so no stay there stay on your chair please stay on your chair good girl sit down sit down sit sit good girl good girl so we don't know where he is, we don't know if he's okay, but I guess all we can do is just hang out for 24 hours and if he's not home by tomorrow morning, I guess I can do one of two things. We're going to use work to see if he's been, if he's come in or left his shift or not come in and go to the police. So that's all I can do at this stage. But for now, we'll keep you updated. To watch the cooking. Why oh, yes, don't you worry, I've got some for you. So for a special baby girl. Yes. <laughs> Am I getting lots of kisses? Mm, lots of kisses. Mm. I'm getting lots of kisses. Mm. <laughs> I'm getting so many kisses. Mm. <laughs> I'm giving so many kisses. Mm. I'm getting kisses and I love the kisses. morning youtubers what a glorious day it is today have a go look at the skies ahead of us so beautiful so beautiful don't look I'll get dizzy <laughs> it is an absolutely fabulous day the skies are blue there's a few fluffy cat clouds there and about and you know what I've had the best few days ever to be honest with you um, my husband has now been away for two, three nights four days now I'm just assuming that he's away um, because he needs to have some time away can you give her a treat please Posey and that is okay because sometimes we all need a mental break away so our marriage has been going through some hard times but do you know what marriages do so I'm in acceptance of that and I'm in acceptance that he's having a break away and there's nothing wrong with that you know I have done the same thing in the past not that I'm saying he's getting back at me because I don't think that at all I think that he simply needs to have time away um, he's probably just had enough at the moment and last year and beginning of this year has been a tough time for him um, in regards to his work and his course so I guess living in real time if you don't do the same thing let me know in the comments if you don't want to just have time away from your better half or the children in the family all of the above all of the above let me know down below um, you know nothing is really abnormal these days what's the norm as people say there's no the norm it's what you make it so well that's what I strongly believe anyway so today hopefully will be another relaxed day in this environment um, as I said I've really enjoyed having this time um, with the with Lauren and Puasa without the dramas of stress um, intimidation bullying <laughs> yes all of that but I can't say I'm guilty of, 
of not doing the same thing. I am. These are behaviours that have been instilled in us when we were children. His mum and dad used to fight. I've got no, no doubts that his father used to hit his mother or hit the kids. I've got no doubts that that actually happened. In actual fact, you know, his sisters have confirmed that. They also confirmed that he was the last born and he was very spoilt. And don't we know it. <laughs> so, but that's like me as well. I, um, I was the last child born and I was spoiled too so and ditto with the parents my parents used to fight except my dad didn't hit us it was my mother who was the domestic violator so God rest her soul now so today is Sunday and I hope to have this um, video up by the close of business five o'clock maybe even bedtime I'll post it um, let's see how and what today brings us so i'll see you again very shortly <laughs>